Hey, I'm pretty sure this has got dairy in it. I'm gonna be all gassy now. Shut the door, I'm not eating the whole damn neighborhood. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Man Gamer Network. I'm Combat Carl, and today we are gonna, I mean, we're gonna move at a pretty quick pace, I hope, because uh, we're going to talk about the basics of Monarch gear. What is it? Where do I get it from? How do I combine Monarch gear or upgrade Monarch gear? How do I use it? And how do I get the bang for my buck or the gusto out of my gems? So we're going to cover all that today. So what is it? What is Monarch gear? Let's go up here into the Monarch corner. And Monarch gear is equipment that your Monarch wears that gives a bonus. And that bonus is going to be applied to your generals and or your troops and or the activities that occur within your keep. So first of all, how do I how do I even get this stuff? This is what we're talking about. This is a piece of Monarch gear, but where do I get it? Well, the number one place that you are going to get it from, at least as far as I'm concerned, is patrol on the wall. This is the wall. When you hear us say VIP on the wall or gems on the wall, this is the wall. And if you click on it at and you have got a certain level, I want to say it's level six maybe, then you are able to do a wall patrol. And the wall patrol is it's just like a slot machine. And you basically, you have two buttons you can push down here. If you don't like this, you can refresh it for 10,000 gold. Or you can click it again for Jim's Patrol. Now you get three of these for free uh, after server reset. So you can do this, it'll say free patrol down here and you can do three of those. I do a boatload of these throughout the course of the day. This is the way I do it. In this whole series, I need to be very clear about something. I am showing you a way to do things. I am not necessarily telling you this is the way to do things. There's a lot of ways to skin a cat. You know, I'm never so smart that I can't learn something. So if there's a better way to do this, I'm all for it. You know, put it down in the uh, uh, down in the comments, uh, down beneath the sermon notes, because uh, you know I, I I would love to learn a better way to do this. This is the way that I'm doing it today, and you know, well, if we learn something, we'll change it. This is probably the cheapest place that you're going to find Monarch gear that you can kind of force obtaining it. And what do I mean is that if I refresh this, even though it's going to cost me 10 grand, I get a chance of getting Monarch gear up there. So we're going to click through this um, and there we go. So now this is a, this is a level one war horn. And what that is going to do is when that level is activated, it's going to increase our March size capacity by 2000. So for me, 30 is a pretty good price. 30 gems is a good price because they're like 200 in the store. So I've seen people that just click through gems. I don't have a lot of gems because again, we're, we're free to play here. We, haven't spent a nickel on this game so I've got more gold than I've got gems so I will sit here at various times and do this over and over and over again and that's one of the ways that you can obtain monarch gear now if you go up here to the eye it will show you that you can obtain up to level 3 monarch gear for 30 gems a pop and you know what that's a pretty darn good deal if we continue scrolling down here you can see occasionally you will get some other um, you know like there's a 24-hour speed up that you could possibly 
come across. You could possibly come across, you know, uh, a half a million food box. But this is where I consistently get Monarch gear. Um, and people ask me, well, you know, how much do I do it? And I tell them, do it till you're sick of it. And, and then do it a little bit more. That's just me. That's just the way the way that I do it. That's my number one source for Monarch gear. Number two source for Monarch gear when I'm trying to get it is the black market. Again, you can um, notice that there's not anything here. You get three free refreshes of the black market uh, every day. Um, so we're going to refresh one up here. Guess what? Well, we didn't see anything. Yeah, just for fun. Let's get some of this and let's get some of this. I know there's people screaming right now that I'm actually buying stuff in here. But here we go. This is uh, this is a level two wind grail, and that's going to help increase our troop HP. 150 gems. I'm going to buy that. And look, here's a justice horn march speed to monsters for a level two. You know what? I'll buy that one too. And, oh, you know, while I'm down here, what's this? Another Thunder Grail. Uh, this is for our mounted troop HP. Guess what? I'm going to buy that as well. And just to get my money's worth out of that, I'm going to buy that. Man, I bet there's people going nuts right now. The level threes in the stores, um, you know, they're like 1,200 gems and up. So buying something for, you know, two to three hundred is a, a pretty good price if you're going to pay gems for that type of stuff. Now, there are um, there are some crowns that will come up that are you don't get a bargain there because it's the same price in the store. Uh, where else can we get them? We can get them at the wheel of misfortune over here. You know what? I just picked some chips up. So let us scroll down here and add those to whatever stash we may or may not have. We're going to go to the Wheel of Misfortune and, okay, well, we've got a couple of these. So uh, let's see. Right now, that'd be nice to have a level three wind decoration. Uh, so. You know, you can get a fairly, yeah, okay, go away, Bronco Betty. Uh, did we get one? Oh, we did. Look at that. We got it. And here's an, another source. There's a, you can get an unspecified item. You can get just a gear chest uh, in there as well. So we did that. We're going to just keep on moving on. Uh, speed up chess. I'm going to insert a little bit of footage in here that we shot earlier. When you slay Fenrir's and Garuda's, which if you're a little guy at our level and you're not in an alliance, you're probably not going to be doing that. But if someone in your area is doing that, you can kind of sneak over and for the expenditure of a little bit of stamina, uh, you can sneak away with a small and a large uh, speed-up chest. And oftentimes in those, they will have a monarch gear. Now, if you are in an area that has someone who is doing a bunch of those, that's a, a, a fairly decent way, especially if you have not activated either the black market or the patrol feature on your wall that is a way that you can get uh, you can get gear chests uh, which will uh, have a monarch gear item in them but you've got to you, you got to weigh the the stamina to pay off cost in that because again stamina runs this game and earlier on you, you got you don't have you don't have two stakes to rub together early on so you got to be very got to be very careful I probably wouldn't pick up everything on a Fenrir drop because there are there's like 10 chests and to pick all that stuff up that, that's that's 50 stamina and you know you can do stuff with 50 stamina especially if you've only got a couple hundred uh, at a time uh, where else can we find this stuff at? Um, under events, under the King's Path, 
on day three, uh, there is a reward for making an offering that will give you gear chests that you can do. You can also get them from monster drops, higher level monster drops. If you are in an alliance and you are tagging along on the raids, if you're sending one general and one troop uh, along on these raids, you can pile the stuff up. And one of those things that you can pile up are gear chests. Uh, you can get them in pack purchases, I hear. Uh, you can get them when uh, you level a keep up. Sometimes a reward will be, will be gear chests. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, another thing that, uh, another area that you could possibly get gear chests is if you do decent in world boss. Now, again, uh, you know, I'm a little guy. Um, you know, I'm <laughs> king of the littles. Uh, you know, the, I'm the littlest of, of little people on this server here. And so you can see I didn't rank terribly high, 361 in world boss damage. But, you know, hey, that got me gems, but that also got me 30 gear chests. So that's another another way that you... And there's some, there's some other kind of, call them miscellaneous. You know, you'll pick one up and you'll pick one... Uh, You'll pick one up here, you'll pick one up there, but um, patrolling the wall constantly. Black Market, Wheel of Misfortune. Um, that's for the most part where you're going to, where you're going to pick these up at. So, um, and if you are, you know, just now starting out and you're in an area where somebody is, is dropping fin rears, then you can pick those speed up chests up. So now, what what do I do with these things once I get them? Well, so here at the Monarch screen, well, we are going to go down here to where it says gear. And this is where we're going to manage all of our Monarch gear. And in a similar fashion to crafting materials, you can take lower level monarch items and you can combine them into a higher level item and you can continue that on and on up the chain so if you'll notice over here on the right this is my level one intellect crown and it says that i have got two of these well i need three of these to combine it so i can't do anything here but i can go down here and if you'll notice there is a, a broken green arrow, and that is telling me that I am able to combine this into a higher level item. So if we want to combine it, we're going to click on it. It's going to bring us up this little dialog box, and we hit the Compose button, and that's going to bring us up to the Composing screen. So what this shows you is if you have three of these, you can combine it into one of these. Now, notice it says that I have got six. So, you know, I'm not a smart guy, but, you know, you show me something and I can kind of figure it out. If I need three of these to make one of these, and I got six, and that means I can make a couple of these. Now, I got two choices. I can hit Compose, and don't, don't freak out by the Compose All button. If I hit Compose, it's just going to perform the action once. So it has taken three of these, and you'll notice my number has increased in the level two. If I hit the Compose All, it's going to compose everything that is currently in the top position. It's not going to compose everything in your pile, because that would be pretty damn scary. We're going to compose this again. So now we're going to move up here. We're going to be able to compose this again. So we have now combined three of these into a level three. And guess what? I've got three more here. So let's combine this yet again. And so now I have a level four construction speed crown, which is now going to allow me to speed my construction up by 20% when I wear it. 
So that is composing, and we're going to take a minute here, and I've been saving these for a while, so we're going to blast through here and compose a bunch of these. I personally wouldn't sell them. Why wouldn't I sell them? Well, I'm sure at some point it'll get I'm sure at some point it, you'll get you'll get so that you just have so many of these stupid things that they're just coming out of your ears. But that's going to be a long ways away. And the reason that I say that is because it takes an insane amount of these to uh, to get them to completion. Because first of all, you'll notice that like it takes three level ones to make a level two, and it takes three level twos to make a level three, and it takes three level threes to make a level four. And you know, if you do math, in and there are, there are fifteen levels, so in order for you to make a fifteen level piece of gear, it takes like some some silly like four million to get there. That's a lot of stuff. So selling it for a small gain, you know. Like I said, at some point it might make sense. You know, for, for a little guy like me, I'm not anywhere near that point now. And by the way, if you if you're oh look at that, I almost hit the sell button on all of that. I would have cried there. Now, something I'd like to point out, when we get to this level here, you'll notice that my level 3 has got an upgrade arrow. But if I go into Compose for that level 3 item, I only have two items. So why is that upgrade arrow there? Because I have got stuff downstream that will affect that. Because if I compose these, that then bumps enough up to the next level that I compose that, that it bumps up to the next level that I can compose that, that I now have a level four. That's why sometimes you'll you'll look at these and it will say that you can upgrade it, but you've only got two of it. So you need to look downstream. Okay, so we have finished composing all of those uh, items. Uh, that's what that's what they call it. Composing, you could call it upgrading. Uh, you know, you can call it uh, whatever whatever you want to do. So, we have sourced some monarch gear. We have upgraded or composed some monarch gear. Now, what do we do with it? Well, we've got six different areas that we can use Monarch gear in. Uh, in the number one position is where your staff goes. And the staff is for your attack, uh, an attack boost for troop types. If we go down here uh, on a level four Aries staff, it is going to give us an all troops attack bonus of 12%. So you are going to have a ground a troop tack, you're going to have a mounted, you're going to have a ranged, you're going to have a siege, and then you're also going to have an all troops or a mixed troops attack. So we're just going to hit OK on that. Now we're going to go down to the number two slot, and this is where the grail is at, and the grail is going to give you an HP boost. Again, same type of thing. You've got ground, mounted, ranged siege and then you've got an all troops so we are going to continue down now here's again continuity in this game is somewhat suspect if this is where the attack boost goes and this is where the hp boost goes where do you think the defense boost should go it should go right here but it doesn't it's over here i don't know why this is where your defense boost goes into same thing 
ground mounted ranged siege and then all troops so in the number three slot this is what i call the march modifiers this is where your horns are at and if you are sending troops out in a march these can modify that you can send out an additional capacity if you are trying to haul a bunch of stuff out of a resource and you just need numbers you just need bodies that's a good that's a good one to select you can also use that if you are close to beating a boss or if you're trying to do a max effort on on something um, the courage horn this increases your march speed everywhere by 15 percent third position is troop load so if you are again if you're trying to harvest a um a resource this isn't going to make it go faster but you're going to use less troops because the troops can each carry more 15 percent more in this case or in the fourth position the justice horn march speed to monsters if you're if you're the guy running boss rallies or if you're you know if you're doing them yourself um and you're just you know you're just grinding away at low level monsters 30 percent that gets you it gets you there uh, a little bit faster now it doesn't speed you up on the way back but it speeds you up on the way there in the fourth position we have our crown and uh, the crowns i call them maker modifiers this is crowns are for makers because this is if you're researching something it's a speed boost if you are constructing something, it's a speed boost. If you are crafting something, it's a speed boost. If you're training something, it's a speed boost. Healing is a speed boost. Traps building speed, speed boost. This is all making things go faster. That's why I say crowns are for makers. Um, then we've already covered um, in the, the number five slot, the defense in the wrong spot and then uh, number six is our resource area and it's divided into kind of two sections your upper section is for production that is making something faster the lower section is a gathering speed it is it is a bonus for um, getting things to go faster now look at this this I've got a green arrow here I thought we went through and we cleaned all this stuff out so if I click on that and, and I go to compose then yep sure enough I missed one downstream and then I have another arrow must have done the same thing does that clear our arrow yep we're all cleared now so yes, this is the production speed, and then this is the gathering speed. So that is what you can do with all of those pieces. This is that's where you make it happen. So the first thing that we're gonna we're gonna go up here to look at is what I what I want to show you is if we go up here and where this says all troops attack, if you want to see how this is affecting you this is what you can do you can go down to detail and then you're going to scroll down to where it says military and you can see here where it says single ground troop attack is at 70 and then single ground troop defense 70 single ground troop hp is it 240 so it's going to go through ground and then mounted and then ranged and then siege and then ground troop attack this is where your percent modifiers are at so now if we go back here we'll look we are currently set for all troops attack so if we are out battling the forces of evil around our uh, around our keep and um, we are using a mix of attacks 
Say if we've got a couple, three different marches, we have one set up for ground attack, and we have one set up for ranged attack, um, just because of the mix of troops and the mix of skills that we have and how we are able to utilize those on our generals, because not all generals are good at, at, at all things, then this is a good middle-of-the-road setting because this is going to give all of your troops it's going to give your ground troops 12%. It's going to give your range troops 10%. And your mounted troops and your siege. It's going to give everyone 12%. Now, if you are... So if we go here, we'll notice this is on all troops. All troops. All troops. And we can see that reflected... It down in the detail because the attack was 12% and then the HP was 12% and then the defense was 9 because these are level 4s and this is a level 3. Well, let's say we're going across something that is bigger. We're trying to get a higher level uh, boss monster that we've not defeated before. And if we know that we're going to do that, using mounted then we can go up here and we can select mounted and even though this is a lower level i have a 15 percent mounted troop attack and then i also have plus 60 onto my base rate but that only affects my mounted troops so if i have this activated and then i send some ranged troops, they're not going to get any bonus from this because this doesn't give them any bonus. This is only for the mounted guys. Same thing here. If we click here, we go from everyone getting 12% to our mounted guys getting 20% and we're adding 160 to our base rate. So if you know what you're going up against, and if you're using, uh, as many of us do, if you're fighting monsters and bosses and you're using cavalry troops, and you're using those troops continuously, then it may be a good idea for you to activate these mounted troop monarch pieces just so that you can get that rate up. Because why... Why would you not give your mounted troops a bigger bonus if those are the troops that you're using? So if we click through all three of those, we can now see the little lightning bolt, the little lightning bolt, the little night link, little lightning bolt. So we know this is a mounted configuration. Now, there's... There's got to be a, an easier way to do that because if you send a march out and you have it tailored to mounted and then you want to send a ranged march out, well, then you have to go back in and you have to select ranged. You have to hit confirm and then get out of there. Go in here, hit ranged, confirm, get out of there. Go in here, hit ranged, hit confirm, get out of here then you can there's got to be an easier way to do that and thankfully there is right up here you're going to see a little armor image and if we click on that that is going to give us monarch gear combinations we can add presets in here so let's go that's ranged that's ranged that's ranged let's say that we're going to go far away to a monster so we want our march speed to monsters to be on so we're going to go get there 30 percent faster ranged 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 this doesn't matter this doesn't matter we go up here to our presets add a new combination pick one of these icons why the icons don't really match what's up here i don't understand that it would sure make a lot of sense to me if this is the symbol for ranged. Why would you not give me that symbol down here? But 
again, it's just me being picky. I can give it a name, sorry. I can call it ranged. I can hit save, which it didn't save. Add ranged. I'm going to give it that. I'm going to hit save now. There, it says ranged. And if you want to, you can click the little information button and it's going to tell you what that combination contains. So now, let's say that we've got this is our range setup. Let's say we want to do a mounted setup. So now we select that. That's mounted. This is mounted. This is mounted. But let's say we're trying to do a max effort on something and we need the numbers. We don't not really concerned about how fast we get there. But when we get there, we want to bring a whole lot of firepower. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit confirm on that. Then we can go up here. We can add a new combination. Let's pick another not very useful symbol. We'll call this one Max March. We'll hit save. And now, same thing, it will tell us what that does. Now, honestly, between you and me, sure it would be a lot nicer if they would have put, you know, mounted HP plus 60 or whatever, but that's just me. So now I can click between these two. I can go to Max March, hit Equip. Notice how it changes. I can go up here. I can hit Ranged, Equip. Notice how it changes. So that's a way that you can set some presets up to kind of shave some time off. You can have a preset for each one of those. You can have one for ground, ranged, mounted. You can have a siege setup. You could have a mixed setup where if you are going to attack an NPC city and you have figured out a troop mix using, you know, ground, ranged, mounted and siege engines you can make uh, your monarch gear match that up so now that we kind of have an idea of of how uh, this works let's go and look at uh, this is again i'm not telling you the way to do it i'm telling you a way to do it this is the way i do it this is the way i do it right now and you know, I'm not so smart that I can't learn something. So 10 minutes from now, I may have found a better way to do this. And, and I may change the way I do this. In fact, I've changed the way I play this game numerous times. But for the moment, if you're trying to get the biggest bang for your buck out of this gear that you have, let's be honest, you have worked pretty hard because sitting here at the patrol is not actually a lot of fun. You know, this is not what I played the game for, you know, to just sit around here and, you know, play slot machine. If I want to play slot machine, I'll go to the casino. So, in order to get your biggest bang for your buck, this is the kind of mentality that you, that you need to have, is when you go from one type of task to another, that's when you need to think, do I need to change my Monarch gear? So for example, I've got a bunch of stuff here in my keep that I have set up expressly for you, Old Man Gamer Network's loyal visitors, the entire handful of you, to show you kind of a walkthrough. So if I log on and this is the screen that I see, the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to make sure that I have my training crown on. That's going to give me a 15% speed boost on training. So I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to activate this guy. He's going to go off and stand with his buddies. Same thing here. I'm now going to go and we're going to train some more of those. 
we hit train. We're going to go down here. We're going to hit train. And this time is with a 15% speed boost. Just for fun, let's take that off. Let's put our crafting speed crown on. We went from 4 hours and 27 minutes to 5 hours. So we're almost a half an hour longer with that. Now, it doesn't, it might not sound like a lot of time. Remember, we're littles. When you're in the keep 25, keep 30 range, and your upgrades are taking 100 days, and you've got a crown that'll shave 15%, 20%, 25% off of 100 days, now it's a big deal. Get yourself into the habit now, when if you make a mistake, it's a half an hour. That's, you know, that's not such a big deal. So that later on down the line, you're in the habit of doing this and it, and it just comes second nature. So let's go ahead and train this guy or these guys. We're up to 860. We're training at a time. So now let's go over to our workshop and our siege machines because, see, let's see, 427 siege machines are a type of troop. I've got my crafting crown equipped. And my time went up. So if you don't know that, then now you know. Siege machines are a type of troop. So anytime you see something that says troop bonus, then that applies to your siege machines. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to train that guy. And now... We're going to go to traps and build. Well, wait a minute. That says 419. And I was pretty sure that if we go to the crowns, that, where is it? Oh, yeah. There's a traps building speed one. So let's go ahead, change the crown. Wrong place. Notice our time. There's only so much you can do about time. So now if we go up here, notice my academy is sitting around and doing nothing. So I'm going to go back up, go to my crown, research speed. So we're now going to learn how to do something, and we're going to learn how to do it 15% faster than we would have done it earlier. Well, let's just randomly pick this guy. 348 is our reduced time on that. If you are in an alliance, this is when the little helping hand pops up and you can click that icon and your alliance members have the opportunity to help you out little bits of time. But if you're in an alliance with 50 people, and they all give you 30 seconds, 45 seconds, a minute, a minute and a half, then this number goes down really quick. We're going to scroll back over here. Oh, look, I've got guys in the hospital. Change the crown because I'm changing tasks. Healing speed. There we go. So now we're going to heal these guys but we're going to heal it faster than what it would have been. Again, it doesn't seem like a huge amount of time, but when you get higher and higher in levels, it becomes a big deal. Let us... Can we upgrade the war hall? No, because our embassy has to be 14. Can we upgrade our embassy? No, because our market has to be 14. Can we upgrade our market? Yes, we can. Why? Well, one of the reasons is because I knew this was coming, and I don't remember. I think it's the lumber mill that has to be 14. Somewhere around in here, I've got a sawmill that's 14. Oh, there it is, right there. 
So as you get higher up, you'll know that the lumber mill has to be upgraded so that you can upgrade the market, so that you can upgrade the embassy, so that you can upgrade the war hall. Just it's, it's coming. Just start to pay attention to it. So let's hit upgrade. What is our time? 19 and a half hours. Let's just get our supplies needed for that. This is a nice upgrade. This happened a couple of updates ago. It will automatically figure this number for you and let you jump back and forth between them. It did not used to do that. And that is a very, a very handy feature. Let's see, 19 and a half hours. Let's put the construction crown on. Construction speed 20%. And now we're down to 16, 16, 20. I'll take that. Let's see what else. Oh, if we're going to go here and if we're going to craft, what were we going to craft? I can't remember. Is that it? No. I think we're way down here. Yes, if we're going to craft another helmet, we're at three days. Whereas... I can never remember what order these things are in. Crafting speed. We shave off half a day. And that's just by remembering to change our crown. That is the stuff that you can change in the, uh, in the keep. Now let's run outside the keep. There's a couple of things where our monarch gear comes into play. So, what are we going to do out here? Oh, okay. Let's see. What are we going to do? Here's what we're going to do. If we're going to attack this guy, this medium Hydra, we're an idiot. Because this Hydra is 120 million. This is another new feature from this update. You didn't used to know this number. You had to guess. Or... In the case of someone like myself, is you went through with a spreadsheet and you wrote it all down. Now you don't have to do that. It tells you right up front what the combat level of your monster is. That is, I'm happy, you know, because I fight a lot of common monsters and it works on the common monsters, not just the boss monsters. It gives you that number on there. So, yeah, let's let's try something more sensible. Let's go to this centaur. And we know that for a guy like us to do this centaur, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a mounted march after him. I could use the presets, but I forgot that I had them because I've been not using them until I recorded this episode. And I know that I don't want to, I don't really want to get there fast. I just want there to be a lot of guys. So we're going to hit confirm. Now I can click on him. We're going to go to attack. He's at 328K. I know that for me, my number one preset is my, is my mounted preset. So you can see we're bringing more firepower than he has. And so now we're going to go, we're going to get this guy. Now at the same time that's going on, I also know that I am going to go rob this guy. And then in order for me to do that, I can go ahead and I can use my ranged guys. But ooh, I almost forgot to change my stuff. Let's see. Ranged. 
equip. That changed, that changed, that changed. That doesn't matter. This is March speed. So now I can go in, I can attack him, knowing that my monarch is equipped for range. And off we go. Now, once we click the send button on here, we can now go and change these settings. Because once you have initiated this task, then your settings are going to carry over. Now, where that is a little bit different is when you are going to do a resource. So let's say we are also going to want to go get some food because, you know, guys are hungry. We're going to take our resource collecting general. Oh, guess what? We almost forgot. We're going to select food gathering speed. So now this is going to do the calculation on how long this is going to take us to do. We're going to hit that and just for fun we're just going to send these guys. Now we need to wait until she lands on that tile. Once she lands on that resource tile, the everything's locked in as far as the number of troops that we're sending and how fast they're going to gather those materials. So what we can do is once they are in there and this switches over from marching to gathering, like it did right there, then I can go into my Monarch and I can now change this over and now I have a 15% food production boost happening right now. Now that's where you're going to have to make a decision because if you've got, if you have, you know, someone harvesting food, someone gathering stone, someone gathering ore, someone gathering lumber, you got to figure out which one of those you want to give the boost to. But you can give them that, uh, you can give them this gathering boost from when you send them to when they hit the tile. And then you can pick one of them that you can give this lumber production boost to. So that is like the basics of Monarch Gear. That shows you what it is, that shows you how to get it, shows you how to improve it or combine it, how to do presets on your Monarch um, to make switching back and forth a little bit easier. And then it also kind of gives you an idea of the mindset if you want to effectively utilize the gear that you have worked hard to gather and combine together get the maximum benefit out of that because if you do that things are going to go quicker uh, you're going to level up faster you're going to gather resources faster you're going to train troops faster you're going to build things faster you know if, if you can get a little tweak here and a little tweak there and make things go faster and make things go more efficiently then you know the game is, is a lot more enjoyable so anyways uh, i'm combat carl this has been the old man gamer network ebony the King's Return, the basics of Monarch gear management. You guys have a good weekend. Stay bubbled. Cheers. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us today. Be sure and tap that thumbs up button if you think we've earned it. And be sure to hit the subscribe button and that little bell to be notified when new content comes out. Be sure to check out these other videos. And I'm Combat Carl for Old Man Gamer Network. You guys be sure to go straight home. No screwing around.